Hello, welcome to the Amber Imprint. My name is Mariam Laushi and today we're having an insight on Bella Arafai, whose father is running for Kaduna State Governor and we are in his study right now. Hello, Bello. Thank you for having the Amber Imprint. Before I came here, I was talking with someone and I said, I'm going to interview you. And the person said that you are usually heard but not seen. Is that intentional? Well, there are two sides to the question. The first could be is it, whether the person is referring to the fact that he doesn't see me in a personal setting or whether I'm heard speaking politically but I'm not seen in protests or rallies. No, in public. Well, then that makes sense because I'm a private person, ironically. Um, plus my family, especially my mother, still has mm -hmm, this negative view about publicity in Nigeria and being out in the public and being outspoken. So most times for her sake, I would rather keep it private, but I think naturally I'm just a more private person than people think. So, do you think if you hadn't been born into this family that you would be into politics? It's difficult to answer that question because would-be questions are always difficult. Mm -hmm. But even if I wasn't born into this family, I was, I've always found politics interesting. Plus that's what I studied in college. So. I most likely would have, but I would never know for sure, you know. And to be fair, this family didn't start politically either. Mm -hmm. You know, it, politics came into the picture in 99. My father, Malam Nasser Arafat, had his declaration on November 3rd. Unfortunately, I missed it because I was in New York for other personal reasons. But the declaration went well. Um, we had the presence of our national leader and hopefully our president in 2015, General Mahmoud Dubari and we're proud of it so far. I noticed that there are, there are a lot of young people involved in the campaign. Um, can you tell us why that is? Personally, I would like to see more people, to be honest. But um, fortunately, we've had um, my father, even in his recent book, The Accidental Public Servant, the whole theme revolves around the need for young people to get into politics, step up their civic engagement. So I guess he is favorable towards bringing young people on board politically and I've just taken advantage of that and try to get people that I believe are genuine, are smart and are capable of contributing something to the campaign. Just people that are passionate about politics and taking it off from Twitter to the field. Um, what do you say to people who have lost hope in the political system in Nigeria? Why well, would Nigerians lose hope? I mean things are bad but we're not Syria, we're not Palestine and Israel. We, we, our parents or maybe our grandparents saw the civil war. If they didn't lose hope, what excuse do we have to lose hope? I, I don't, I, I think the whole idea of human nature is to never lose hope. But the night is darkest before the dawn. So things can only go up. That's my opinion. I can't help but notice your brotherhood with people like Bashir Shehu, Adam Wali, who seem to always be around you. Can you tell us about that brotherhood? They're my childhood friends. Um, I've known Adam since Essence International School. I was probably seven. And for Bashir, we, they bathe us together. We practically live together, we know each other, and I'm just more comfortable with them, to be honest. And it relates back to the whole privacy I was talking about earlier. Like, I'm not on Twitter or Facebook to make friends. Um, I'm here to get good ideas, meet new people, but I don't think friendship works that way. No offense to people that start dating online and things like that, but, but I, I just would prefer people I grew up with. They understand me, I understand them. They know how to gauge me, I know how to gauge them. They know when I'm about to go crazy, I know when they're about to go crazy. So we manage each other better. Do you have a message for the young people, the youth in Nigeria? generally don't think I could send a message to the youth myself. Like, 
I'm not there yet, you know. I could give my opinion about what I feel more young people should do. And what I think they should do is, um, first of all, cooperate uh, with the civil society, cooperate with politicians. And by cooperate, I don't mean to the line. I mean get involved, engage them, and actually start genuinely caring for the progress of Nigeria. I feel we're lackluster. You know, and to a certain extent, the people in power have always done this. They've always sidelined the youth. I feel you need, you need to step up in order to gain a seat at the table. But I also want to commend a lot of young people right now, including yourself, and I'll say she as well, uh, Zainab Salih has Pink Fleur. I know um, Ama Indimi has... La Rouge, there are people that are getting entrepreneurial. I just wish we would take the same energy and put it into politics uh, and get in power. Because um, no matter how much money you would make um, uh, by go venturing into business, if the generator is not working, your profits are going to be cut. Are you married? I'm engaged to an amazing woman. Her name is Kamila Aruna. It's from Adama. She went to the American University of Nigeria. She graduated in 2011 in economics. She's a gentle soul. She's patient. She's almost the complete opposite of me sometimes. She's a calm head, you know, and she's been very helpful throughout these past difficult years. So hopefully I'll get married next year, inshallah. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. You're welcome, thank you. Hi, my name is Mohamed Beloel Rafai and I'd recommend that you go to www.theamberimprint.com for the latest in lifestyle, fashion and everything you find interesting. I know I enjoyed it, thank you. Mm -hmm.